Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone for to another episode of Jim and Java. It's, it's always exciting to be here to help you increase your income and become fully funded. It's such a passion of mine to really help you increase your income by developing relationships, going deep into relationship with your partners, seeing this as a partnership with your donors so that they see this as accomplishing their heart and passion by supporting your nonprofit organization. And so this is really an exciting opportunity for me to come here each week and share with you a little bit of my heart and my passion and strive to help you within the area of fundraising and building relationship with people. So it's exciting to be here and I'm really glad that you've taken the time to watch this video and join us here this morning want to uh, let you know about a couple things that have really people have been sharing with us that they really enjoy one of the first things is on monday morning we do a three tips for the week that generally goes out uh, is posted on our facebook group and our community group uh, facebook group development effectiveness strategies look for that in your group section on facebook uh, if you are a subscriber to this channel, which I would encourage you to subscribe to the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel. You'll get special communication from me on the community section within the YouTube channel. And on Wednesdays, we have a fun section, which is called Fundraising in Film. And I give tips from movies that have been out there that have shared principles that I believe are helpful in fundraising. So make sure you check that out. And then on Instagram, if you're out on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies, you'll see on Thursday morning our very popular Thursday tips with Jim Dempsey. And I'll share two minutes or less, just some tips and some suggestions that I think are very helpful for you to take your fundraising development efforts to the next level and help your nonprofit raise the resources it needs. Well, let's jump into our first question of the day today. Our question today is from Allison in Austin, Texas. And Allison asks, are fundraising events or dinners tax deductible? Well, Allison, thank you so much for that question. And it really has an answer, which uh, sometimes is an answer that we'll have more often than not. And the answer is it depends. And what I mean by that is that there are events that are tax deductible, but there's also events that either little or some money is tax deductible, but not all of that. What I mean by that is that if you charge a ticket or sell a table for your event, you need to make sure that you get a declared value for that meal or that table, which would be eight to 10 meals at that table. And that amount needs to be deducted from the gift that the individual gives at the end. So the ticket price needs to be declared or the value of the meal needs to be declared and taken off the cost of that. So it could be that if your ticket price was the same or actually cost less than the cost of the meal, that an individual would not get any deduction whatsoever from the, either the purchase of the ticket or um, from just coming to the event. Now, if they gave a gift that was significantly higher than the ticket price or the value of the meal, then they could deduct the difference, but not 100% of the gift. Now, if you have an event, which is the kind that I do, the kind that I recommend, where their meal is complimentary, then the, the gift that is given at the end of the night is 100% tax deductible. Now, we have cross-checked this more times than I can imagine with our attorneys 
with uh, very qualified tax accountants and all agree that if everyone has gets a meal that there is no um, no loophole nothing that uh, stops them everyone equally gets a meal it's complimentary to everyone and the, there are certain individuals that come do give gifts it could be 80 percent 90 percent 95 percent those individuals get 100 percent tax deductible um, offerings from the IRS on those gifts that they um, that they give and so if not having to do a lot of work on the back end determining value and deducting the cost of a ticket or a meal from a gift at the end if that is important to you the simplest easiest way is to not charge for a ticket or a table and make everyone's meal complimentary now I know that's hard and I know that's difficult for some of you because you have to get over the hump of being able to provide a meal without any upfront money so that means that you've either got to negotiate properly your deposit and your um, your billing procedures because there's a lot of venues that will ask you for a hundred percent of the remain or the estimated bill uh, seven days three days two days 24 hours before your event and you've got to come up with that upfront money because you are relying and depending on the money for the most part on the back end after people give a gift at the dinner so that's something that you need to be thinking about um, and what that means is that you probably maybe need to find some individuals that help you uh, maybe board members or some major donors that help you with some um, some gifts that you that could be used to help offset some of those early costs but that does allow you to offer to every person in their tax deductible um, benefits and so that's just one of the things that you need to be thinking about as you are planning for your events so once again if you charge for a ticket a table or charge for meals those those costs are not necessarily tax deductible you have to determine what the value is and deduct that from any gift that people give but if you have an event that's completely complimentary then you're you're covered so I hope Allison that answered your question if you have further questions either you or anyone watching if you've got a question and you don't have it fully answered here please put it down in the comment section or even email me at development effectiveness m at gmail.com love to have you as a subscriber to this channel and uh, be part of our Q&A each week. If you've got some questions and you want to go out to Twitter, you can do so at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Once again, at Instagram, at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And as I always say, we're here to strive to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. We'll see you again on the next video. Take care.